Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. I made it out to the Dollar Tree this morning. Um, it was such nice weather this week. I was just so happy. It's been in like the high 60s all week compared to the snowy stuff we had a few weeks ago. But I did find a few good things here. Not a huge haul, but um, I picked up a few new things that I found. And of course, you know, I got some of my usual standbys here. And those are my garbage bags that I get, the kitchen ones, the 13-gallon bags that are vanilla scent. And I love these, so I grabbed another box. Like I said, I can't always find them, so I've been stocking up when I can find them. And then I did pick up another pack of the gallon size Ziploc bags. Uh, you get 13 of these in here, and these are nice bags. I use so many of these bags. And then I did find some more of this um, dishwashing packs. You get 10 of these here. These are the Ultra Shine. I absolutely love these. And this is another thing that sometimes I can't find. So lately I've been finding them again. So I grabbed two more to stick out there in my little container that I keep them in. So I make sure I never run out of those. And then these I picked up again. My husband loves these to take the work and stuff to wipe things down. Um, these are the Lysol disinfecting wipes. You get 15 in here. Um, and this is something else that's been kind of hard to find these days is anything Lysol, so I was happy to find these again, so I picked up, what did I get? Oh, I got six packs of them, so that's good. He can just throw some in his truck and off he goes. So, yeah, these are nice to have. And, alright, so this is one thing new that I found this week, is these wicker baskets. And I thought these were so pretty. I love these two colors. Now, I did take pictures of the rest. There was a whole bunch of different kinds that they have. Um, so I'm thinking I may line these and maybe use them for Easter. Um, but I just thought these were really pretty. And they're just called a basket. It's a 9-inch basket. I think this is the same size here. Yep. And, um, yeah, so I picked up two of these. And, you know, they're not the sturdiest things, but they're not bad either, you know what I mean? They're just kind of in between here. But they would be nice to decorate up even, you know, to put in a bathroom to toss some things in or whatever, you know, you want to put in them. So I'll try to remember, hopefully I remember to put up the pictures at the end here. Sometimes I forget. Now these I found, and I did a project the other day with my little bunny wreath. And of course I couldn't find these. And now this time when I went they had tons of the little bunny tails. So I picked up two of these. I'm going to put these away. I don't know if I'll use them this year, but I'm going to put them away so I have to make sure I have them for next year. And they're just cute. They're just little bunny things, and they're on like a little clip that you could clip onto. You know, like a little, they have it on here in a little girl's outfit, which is adorable. But I'm going to put these away because I was so bummed that I couldn't find them before and I wanted them for on that wreath that I made. But anyway, there you go. Now I have them. And then I picked up two packs of this clay that they have now. It's called Air Dry Clay. Um, so it's no kiln or oven needed, dries hard, paintable when dry, and easy to smooth. Now I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Um, I really haven't made anything out of clay in, I couldn't tell you how many years, but I figure I'm going to grab a couple packs and maybe we'll mess around and make something out of these little guys. But we'll see how it works. And it's an 8 ounce, 8.8 .8 ounce pack of this stuff you get, and it's just called air dry clay. So I thought that was pretty cool. I love finding new things. And this I found, this was the only one there, and this is chalkboard paint. And uh, I've never seen this at my Dollar Tree before, and like I said, it was the only one on the shelf, so I grabbed it, see how this works. Um, yeah, I was surprised to find that at the Dollar Tree. And then they had these little things of yarn, and I thought this was a cute idea, because sometimes you just want a little piece of it for, you know, a crafting project or something. And they had them in all these different colors. Um, this was the only two different, you know, varieties that I saw. But I thought these would be great for little things. Um, you get three of them, and there's 20, well, it says times 27 yards. So there's 27 yards of yarn if you're just working on a little project of some sort. Because there's all kinds of times I've been looking just for something like to hang something with or for a tag or something. I thought that would be good. And this, too, these are very excited to find. Um, I love these for like on tags and things, too. Is um, the cotton twine and it's 100% cotton you get 180 feet and um, yeah, this is the size of it here 
And I thought that would be great. So I got it in this color. They have really pretty colors, too. So I got this bright green, and I got the pink, and blue, and purple. And that was the only colors I saw. I don't know if they have any other ones. It would have been nice if I could have found white, too. But that's all I saw there as far as colors. And let's see. What else did I get new? Oh, I picked up some of this paper shred. Um, I thought these would be nice. I love this. How pretty would this look in a basket for Easter? It has like the rose gold um, shred paper, and then it has like a you know like a creamy white color. And I hate Easter grass. <laughs> it drives me crazy. I don't know why. You know the plastic stuff that they have. And I thought this would be so much better. It probably won't stick to everything. So I got that one, and then they had this color too. I thought would be nice. And these are kind of all stuck together, so. I can work some of those apart. I think that'll be pretty, too, in a basket. So I did grab two packs of the uh, the white and the rose gold, because I think this stuff is just, it's just so pretty. So that's what I plan to do on that. It may go on these little baskets here if I get them done. And then I picked up these little guys in the toy department. And you guys know I buy the craziest things for my birds. <laughs> and this is one of them. So I got this. This is Stimpy the Cat. So a little Nickelodeon um, figures. So I got him. Um, my one Amazon loves to play with anything he can pick up in his feet, and he would just kind of shake it and bite it, and only well, drops them a hundred times a day. I pick him up for him, but he just loves anything that he can grab with his feet and play with. And he doesn't eat them or anything. He'll tear them apart, but he, he just kind of just picks them apart, and that's it. So we got Patrick from SpongeBob, and who's this guy here? Ren, that's from Ren and Stimpy. I used to love to watch that with my grandson when he was little. Uh, so I got him that one, and I got this guy here. This is Arnold. <laughs> and then, of course, we got SpongeBob. So, yeah, I know it's crazy. It sounds crazy, but, like I said, bird toys are so expensive. So anything that I can find that they like to play with and can't tear up, like, in a second is great. And then I picked up these stickers in the Crafter Square section. Now, I wish they had more of these, too, and it's always my luck that I get, like, one. And that's all I can find. So I'm going to look again next week at a different Dollar Tree and see if I can find them. But I really like these stickle stickers. They're puffy stickers, and, um, you know, they look like metal. And I thought this would be great, like, on those little boxes and things they have from Dollar Tree, you know, that I've decoupaged on before. I think this would look so cool in the corners of that. And, you know, even just to decorate up something like that. So I got that one. And then I found this one, too. And I mainly like these for these little corners, too. So I thought these were so cool. But, of course, you know, that's my luck. Well, I'm sure I'll find more and hit a different Dollar Tree. And then I picked up four of these picture frames. I wanted to get frames, and I figured I'll just get them and paint them gray. And I couldn't believe that I actually found the exact size of 5x7s that I needed, and they're already painted gray. And they kind of have a little distressed look to them, too. So I don't have to do anything to the frame. So I grabbed four of these, and yeah, they're just nice. I was just so happy to find them in gray, so I don't have to paint them. And then I picked up these boxes. I thought these were really pretty. Um, this would be something nice to decorate up, too. And I love to decoupage on things like this, maybe around the edge here or something, and just leave that pretty little butterfly up there. And then it's all cut through, so you could put some different colored papers on the inside to decorate that up. And it would make a nice little gift box or something, or just a little trinket box. So I got the one with the butterfly on it, and then I got this other cute one here with a llama. And I don't know what size these are. It doesn't say. Let me tell you guys, because I know you guys a lot of times will ask me. So the box is about three and three quarter inches square, and then the top part is a little bit bigger, and that's like four and a quarter. So it's a nice little size box. I thought they'd be fun to do something with. And you know, when I see these things, I need to carry a pad of paper because I had all kinds of ideas in my head when I saw them, and I don't remember what they were. <laughs> But anyway, we'll do something with them. And then I picked up two of these baskets. I've been getting the containers in these pretty colors. And I thought these baskets were in, in really nice colors. With this kind of like a pale pink. And um, it's just called a basket. The Essentials brand. 
And yeah, it's a nice size to put some things into. These would look nice with some towels or something rolled up in them in the bathroom. So I got the pink one and I got the gray one. And they're just really nice. And they're a pretty sturdy basket. I was surprised. They're not real flimsy. So I grabbed myself two of those. And then I went to the... Well, I wasn't even going to buy flowers. I have so many flowers, but... Um, let me get these out of the bag. Sorry, guys. They had all the hydrangeas out. And I know sometimes I can't find the different colors that I want. So I got a bunch of these in the pink. And I really like their hydrangeas. They're very pretty. And then I got a few in the white. And then they had them in this pretty, like, purple. So I know the white. I always have a hard time finding white. I think a lot of people like to grab up the white. But I have all these pretty flowers now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have so many flowers I keep collecting. I need to really get on to doing some more kind of floral arrangements here. Because... My crafting is starting to look like a florist. I have them all in the big black buckets that they have, like you would wash your car with or something at Dollar Tree, and I just store them in there like that, which is kind of the easiest way I've found to store them. But anyway, that is what I got at the Dollar Tree this week. It wasn't a huge haul, but I found some goodies, and I like finding some new things. So I was really excited to find that. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everybody. Mm -hmm.